Okay, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. I'll show you guys the best media player on Mac OS in my opinion. This tool is uh, called L Media Player. And the first great thing about this is that you can get it directly off the app store. So you don't need to go to any website and download some sort of DM, DMG file or anything like that straight to the app store and go ahead and search up L Media Player. I will also leave a link to this download in the description. So you can go ahead and directly click on the link from there. Because it is on the App Store, there's a lot less of a likelihood of it being anything malicious. So uh, you can get a bit more peace of mind because you're getting it from the App Store. Second of all, the main reason you would need a different media player, because I'm sure most of you do already know that you already get QuickTime on macOS. The QuickTime player is already built into macOS and works pretty well for most video files. But the problem is that it doesn't support all of the popular video formats such as MKV is very popular because it has pretty good compression, but uh, the normal QuickTime player is not able to play that. This is the main reason why you would need a third party media player. And in my opinion, L media player works the best. First of all, it is very lightweight, only 110 megabytes. So not going to take up very much storage on your MacBook at all. It supports both audio and video formats. You can see all the ones that it supports here. So yeah, pretty much all of them in my opinion. It also supports a bunch of different subtitles. So if you do have uh, different subtitles built into the video, then you can natively view those as well. Another great thing is that it is native to Apple Silicon, meaning that it works as intended on an M series device. That could be anything from an M1 to an M4 chip. This is really great because uh, this allows it to run with full effectiveness, meaning that it doesn't waste any extra battery life having it uh, convert from an x86 app into an ARM app. And if you don't understand any of those words, well, that's not really important. All you need to know that it is very good to save your battery life while still giving you a really good experience. Here I have a test file and what you can do is you can go ahead and right click on it. And from there you can choose open with and from here you can choose L media player. By default, it is going to open it in quick player if it does support it. But if you do want it to always show L media player, then you will want to go to the others option here. And from there, you go ahead and choose L Media from the Applications folder and go ahead and uh, select Always Open with right here. After that, you can go ahead and click on Open and now L Media Player is going to be the default for opening that type of video file. Here you can see the application in work and as you can see, it runs really, really smoothly and you can adjust volume and stuff like that from down here. If you do want to delve into the settings, there are some quick settings here, but to get to the real settings, you're going to want to go to the top there where you can get a bunch of different settings. You can change everything from subtitles and audio tracks and the different playback settings as well. Another great thing about El Media Video Player is that it remembers where you left off the video. So if you're watching a video, but you only watched it halfway through, for example, next time you open it with El Media Player, it is going to ask you if you want to continue playing from where you left off something that quick player does not include. So yeah, go ahead and give L media player a try. I just want to show it to you because I myself found it quite useful. And uh, I just want to make it clear that this video is not sponsored. And I'm only talking about this video player because I actually really, really like it myself. So yeah, hope this video helps somebody out.